hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing how to pass acca's apm paper so acca's apm is more like the elder brother of performance management for those who have done like acca from like the application level now if you are probably just coming to start from the professional level of acca you probably would not have like the background anymore because it's probably been a long time since you took like the pm paper and all of that that's totally fine i think the apm syllabus is kind of designed in a way that even if you're taking it without like having done accs pm or like management accounting or anything like that you will still be fine really because it brushes up on the previous um you know understanding that you should have had but then how then is the paper structured and then what are the things you need to know to pass accs apm what did i do that helped me pass and how can you do it to help yourself pass now note that i've been saying pass I didn't say excel i didn't say win a prize <laughs> so if those are your goals please stop watching this video right now and go on to some other channel but if you're watching this is probably because you just want to see the word pass with some kind of 55 or 60 then continue watching this video so what i did to you know pass accs apm because it had been such a long time since i took the pm paper with icon in nigeria Oh my god, it had been so long, so I couldn't really remember a lot of management, accounting, and performance management concepts anymore, and I knew that this would build on it, so I decided to study the Kaplan Pack. Yes, that's what I did. This is totally my experience. Some people do not like to study the pack because they consider it bulky, or I don't know, you know, just kind of a lot of information. But I find that if I do not understand something, <laughs> I have to go to the rudiments of it to be able to understand it the best so that I do not waste time thinking I'm doing a shortcut that turns out to be a long cut because at the end of the day, I'm having to come back to understand it from the pack all over again. I did that, so I know what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, so I tried, I had tried to use accountancy, which is A-C-O-W-T-A-N-C-Y. I had tried to use accountancy videos directly and I realized that, oh my gosh, I wasn't understanding the videos because my rudiments of APM were not very sound. So I went back to the study pack and I studied the chapters, you know, based on my study time. So I had like, I think four hours per, per midnight because I was studying in the night at the time. But each of those four hours, I would study about two chapters. So I was doing that up to the moment, building up to the exam. And when I was done, you know, with the study pack, at least at a high level, I'm not really studying it in depth, but I'm just reading through, seeing the examples and understanding the concepts. So once I was done with this, I was able to go back to the accountancy videos. And then I tried to use those videos as well to brush up my knowledge based on the study pack that I had, you know, read, right? And once I was done with these, I went into past questions. So for ACCA's APM, Past questions were a lifesaver for me. I went to the ACCA website and I downloaded like two or three diets of past questions and I began to practice them on my own. So what I did was, not all of them did I, you know, practice without looking at the answer. <laughs> I mean, right? So I did that sometimes because, yeah, I just wanted to know what was the answer to that question. Some of them as well, I also just tried to attempt on my own and tried to like just answer it and then go back and compare my answer with what the examiners, you know, wanted, right? Which brings me to my next point. So then what were the examiner's comments, right? On APM, the examiner is going to take his time to explain to you what you know, they expect from us as ACCA students. What do they want our answers to portray? What is the level of depth they want when we explain those concepts? What do they want to know when we are answering our questions? APM as a course was quite wide. Let's be honest, right? So he had so many abstract stuff, like sometimes he was testing target costing, some other times he was just testing one random project management kind of, you know, Kaizen costing or Kaizen or whatever like I mean it tested a lot of things that I didn't even know at the time right but all of these were kind of in that pack so once I studied the pack it helped me and then when I went on to start practicing past questions it was much easier now how many past questions do you need this is entirely up to you and depending on how much time you have but I would suggest at least pick up two diets of past questions and try to go over them because they would have touched a lot of things in those two diets if you can just solve two diets on your own then I think you should be fine with passing ACCA's APM 
trust me i believe in you and i know you'll be fine <laughs> now once you have you know practice on your own and you are feeling a bit confident if you still need to understand the exam techniques better then i will still suggest acca pakistan's practice to pass videos now when i took my apm paper because i was so constrained for time this was around december of 2020 i didn't have the time i had no study leave from my office and all of that so it was very difficult for me so that period i didn't really enjoy you know acca's practice to pass acca pakistan's practice to pass because i had no much time to sit down for three hours and watch those videos but if you have the time i would highly recommend to sit down and watch the practice to pass videos for 8 p.m i couldn't do it like i said because i was really constrained for time but if you do have the time i know that they are very valuable to anybody taking any acca paper now once your exam draws close there are some things you want to do again for 8 p.m which is similar to the other papers that i've talked about in my previous videos please go ahead to watch them um for 8 p.m you still want to read up your technical articles i buttress this a lot because i know that it is super important guys at least a 10 mark question is going to come out and it to be an easy question but it's easy to fail if you do not have an idea what that question is talking about you're like what is this like where is this even in the pack because it probably was not in the pack right that's why it's a technical article that's why it's a current issue right it might have been something that just came up even after the pack was produced right so yeah so go to the acca website few days to your exam like three days to your paper sit on that website and just read up about 10 articles randomly selected articles that are like most recent right that will tell you that you are having an idea when you go into the exam hall guys you're going to remember that betsy said have an idea <laughs> just an idea is all you need because they're not going to you know repeat a question or something that we would directly know but no once you see the question you will be able to say oh my gosh this is testing whatever cryptocurrency or some big data or something and you'll be able to just you know talk about it in an intellectual way that the exam I mean, I will know that you have an idea, a strong idea of what this is about and you'll be able to get your 10 marks. All of those little marks here and there will add up to give you the 50% that you need to pass the ACCA's APM. Please let me know in the comments if you, you know, learned anything from this video and please share this video to your friends and your loved ones. Tell them Betsy has videos on how to pass different ACCA papers. Refer me to them. And if you want to reach out to me personally, please do so on LinkedIn, Betsy Oji of Fuebu. That's my name. Um, I'm happy to help you through your ACCA journey. See you guys next time. Bye.